Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.5.6 and Razbam Sims AV-8B Harrier Module. Welcome to Tutorial 5, Guns and Unguided Rockets. In this tutorial we're going to cover the use of the GAU-12 25mm cannon, uh, and I've got two different types of uh, rockets loaded on the aircraft for us to try. Um, the two launcher families, or, and in fact rocket families, that we have available in the Harrier are the Hydra. Uh, these are launched from LAU-68 pods, and Hydra rockets are 2.75 inch rockets, so quite small rockets, uh, and they come in a variety of warhead types. Uh, we also have available to us the LAU-10 launchers, and they can fire 5 inch Zuni rockets, uh, and these are only available in high explosive Mark 24 warheads, uh, and being bigger, these are actually quite suited to anti-armor attacks. Let's jump to the outside view and have a quick look. So here we can see that I've got the gun pod installed. The Harrier doesn't have an internal gun, so we have to install the, the gun pod. It's a two-piece pod that fits around the center pylon. I'm just going to wait for the aircraft to take off. There we go. Uh, so from the point of view of the pilot, the left-hand pod is the one that actually contains the gun, hence all of the gun smoke fouling on that side. Uh, the right-hand pod is the one that contains the ammunition for the gun and the feed mechanism. That contains 300 rounds of ammo. Uh, in this particular loadout here, on the inner pylons, I've got Zuni rockets in low 10 pods, high explosive, as I said before. And then in the middle pylons here, I've got Lau 68 launchers with uh, the Hydra rockets, uh, the 2.75 inch rockets. In this, in this case, uh, Willy Peat, which is white phosphorus used for marking targets. So, uh, as I did in the previous mission, let's do the setup of the pods on the ground here before we take off and fly to the, the target range. So I'm just going to bring my view down here so that we can get a good look at the left-hand MPCD. Uh, once again, I'm going to press Menu, the bottom center push button, and select Stores. Uh, today, we're not going to bother uh, using the, the armament control panel that's underneath the MPCD. We'll do it all via the MPCD. We'll do it the modern way, now that we've shown you the old-fashioned way. Uh, so, we've got our profiles across the top, as before. We have 10S, and that stands for Lau 10, so that's the Zunis. The S is single, so that means that these pods will only fire a single rocket with each um, fire command. And then we have 68S, and that's for the low 68s, the Hydra rockets. Again, S for single. And we have gun. Uh, because we've got the gun pod fitted, gun is a profile option as well. Uh, and if you look at the wing form here, you'll see uh, in the middle it says 300. That's 300 rounds remaining in the cannon. Uh, on the uh, left and right inner stations here, you'll see 10S and a 4. That's because we have four rockets inside each of those pods, uh, each of those low 10 uh, launcher pods. And then here we've got 68S on the middle pylons uh, with a 7, because these pods contain seven rockets each. Now, if we... Uh, let's pop this into air-to-ground mode and turn on Master Arm. Let's choose the 10S first. You'll see that it initially selects a single pod, and we have the standard options for quantity and multiples. Uh, max and min also allow you to adjust the maximum and minimum range scale uh, on the gun on the rocket launch pipper. We're not going to do that today. We're going to leave it at the defaults. Um, so quantity. Let's try switching to a quantity of two, and you'll see that when I do that, it boxes both pods. Uh, so quantity of two in multiples of one by default. So what that means is each time I tap the pickle button, it's going to launch, in this case, from the left launcher, because it has the triangle, and then a moment later it's going to launch from the right-hand one. If I click multiples and change multiples to two, it's now going to launch uh, in pairs, basically. It's going to launch both pods simultaneously. So that's what I'm going to do by default. Uh, I've now got quantity of two multiple of two, uh, with the uh, low 10 Zuni rockets selected. Now, if I go to the uh, low 68s, the Hydras, uh, I'm going to do the same thing in this case, actually. So I'm going to go quantity, two, multiples, two, and that's confirmed again because these are boxed. 
Now, for my first attack, I'm actually going to use the Zunis. So I'm going to leave those selected, and they're already programmed and ready to go. I'm going to come out of air to ground. I'm going to safe my master arm switch there. And we're now ready to approach the range. So, uh, when, once we get to the range, we're going to do an attack with the Zunis, then an attack with the Hydras, and then I will demonstrate the gun. I'll see you there in just a moment. Okay, you join me once again en route to the target range. Let's now get the aircraft set up for our attack. So, first thing that we're going to do is turn the aircraft to air-to-ground mode, and you'll see that immediately we're in GCIP, and we've got eight rockets, that's the Zunis, selected. Uh, I'm going to activate Master Arm, and then GCIP stops flashing, and as before, I'm going to enable the pull-up queue, uh, so that we get some symbology warning us when we get too low. So choose Puck, enter 2500, enter, and then press Puck again to enable that pull-up queue. And let's come out of Alt mode. Uh, and that is pretty much all the setup that we need to do. So uh, I'm just going to very quickly pause the sim so that we can go over the symbology. The symbology is very simple. Uh, and it's actually pretty much the same in both gun and rocket modes. Um, so we have a range scale around the outside uh, of the pipper and then a pipper in the middle, a little dot. What we want to do is we want to dive quite steeply towards the target, put the pipper on the target, and as soon as this range is counting down, you'll see when I actually do the attack that it'll start unwinding all the way around. Pretty much as soon as it starts moving, you're in range, and you can immediately fire. Uh, and in this case, you fire by pressing the pickle button. It's the same button you use for launching guided missiles or bombs or any of that kind of stuff, and separate from the gun trigger. It is actually possible to engage both uh, gun and rocket mode at the same time, and you could achieve that uh, by simply... Um, by simply... Uh, selecting both profiles on the stores page at the same time. We'll cover that at the end. For now, we're just going to do a pure uh, rocket attack. Uh, and again, it's against the southern bomb circle, as I did last time. So let's unpause. Uh, we're nine miles. Uh, waypoint five is actually over the bomb circle. So we're nine miles from the target. The target is going to be around about here. So I'm going to wait until it's kind of down the shoulder of the aircraft a little bit, and then I'm going to roll in and attack. And in preparation, I'm just going to disengage the autopilot, so I'm all trimmed out and in control. So, six miles to go. I'm going to bring the power back a little bit, so that we don't gain too much speed in my dive. Okay, and I'm going to roll in now. Aircraft's nose down. Okay, we're going to get the pipper on the target, just like that. Wait for the range to start rolling down. Range is rolling down. Fire. Fire again. And then we're pulling out and throttling up. And we're off. So that was the Zuni rockets. Uh, you can see on the HUD we still have four remaining. Uh, I'm now going to change profile. Uh, so I'm just going to go menu, stores, and choose the 68S. Uh, and that's us now set up to engage with the Hydra rockets. Uh, I'm going to wait until we're just a few miles away from the target, come round and attack again. You can see how simple that was. Okay, throttle up, we're at four miles, I'm going to do an aggressive turn back around onto target. Oh, went too far. Oh, no, not quite, I'm right on target actually. So, I'm going to bring the throttle back again, actually I'm going to regain a bit more altitude first because I'm too low. Let the speed bleed off a little. And then bring her back down. 
Okay, let's get that pepper on target. So once again, pepper on the target, hold it there and wait for the range to count down. Range is counting down. Fire. There's multiple presses. The pickle button. Boom, boom, boom. And those are willy peats. They're mostly going to produce smoke, not explosions. Okay, we're off. So that was both types of rockets. Uh, I'm going to regain that altitude, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to select the gun. So I can do that uh, by simply pressing gun on the top. Uh, I want to deselect the rockets, because by default it actually allows you to select both profiles at the same time. But we're not going to do that. Okay, we've got some altitude back now. Now, one very important limitation to note with the gun is that you need to have a throttle setting above 70% to employ the gun, because it's pneumatic and it uses bleed air uh, from the engine in order to operate. So that's a very important thing to remember. Okay. We're four miles out again, let's do another aggressive turn. The pipper looks a little bit different on the gun, but it operates in the same fashion. Uh, so it's going, it's going to wind down, and we've got a pipper in the middle that we place on the target. Important thing to note is that this time we're going to be pulling the gun trigger and not pressing the pickle button. So I'm going to throttle back to about 75%, just so that we know we've got enough pressure uh, in order to run the gun. And you'll see the, the pepper for this is much lower down. Uh, we're going to hold that on the target, wait for it to start counting down, and then squeeze the trigger. Pull up, pull up. And there's our pull up. Out, out. There we go. Nice and simple. And you can see we still have 224 rounds of gun ammunition remaining. So, uh, just to demonstrate the uh, the combined mode, uh, I'm going to select the uh, Hydras at the same time, and I'm going to make one last re-attack, this time with both selected, so you can see both Pippers on the screen at the same time. So we're three miles out, I'm going to try once again a nice aggressive turn back around. There's the target, rolling out, bringing the nose down, and this time we have a cross up high, which is just a bore sight cross for the gun, and the reticle on this occasion is just for the rockets. So this time I can, once I'm in range, hit the pickle to launch rockets, and I can also pull the trigger to fire the gun. And there you go. That's us attacked with guns and rockets simultaneously. So that pretty much covers the basic employment of the gun pod and the different rocket pods available. I hope that you all enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.